hey guys welcome to or welcome back to my channel so for those of you who are turning viewers or subscribers hey family and welcome back to the channel for those of you who are new viewers or new subscribers hey my name is Inel and I hope you like it here and that you stay so as you can tell by the title and by the thumbnail we are going to be doing my walk uh retie I have started to interlock my locks this will not be the second time I'm doing it I didn't film the first time around just because it was kind of like trial and error and I don't want to be putting y'all onto anything that like I'm not you know rocking with but yeah this is how my hair is looking a month after my first retie I definitely could have gone a little bit longer without doing another retie but uh, in terms of my schedule and union stuff, the next month was looking really hectic. So I just thought I would use the free time that I had right now. But yeah, this is a month of growth as you can see over there. Uh, my hair does grow relatively fast. So I guess it's kind of trial and error. I'll see just how long I'll space out my lock ties. It's recommended that you space them out like a month or two um more so two months than a month but anyways i'm gonna be showing you guys what i'm doing here don't mind the little bit of product you can see in my hair i have to proper go in and like wash that out like thoroughly um but yeah i will get to that we're starting off with double cleanse hair i did double cleanse my hair <laughs> um but yeah there's no product in my hair i just sprayed it and then i'm using this tool over here I will be using the two point uh, rotation method, I think that's what it's called. You just, well, what I'm doing here is I just enter the tool from the bottom to the top of the lock part and then from the one side to the other side. And I'm just going to be repeating that as many times as I deem necessary or I think I need to do. Considering the fact that this is only a month's worth of growth, I didn't really have to do it a lot of times. Um, I think on this lock I did it like three times and it's also very important that when you are retying your locks that you okay so let's say you end the lock uh, like the retie with the tool coming from the bottom to the top and pulling your lock from the top to the bottom right then it's important that you then feel where you ended your last retie and you do the other direction so like you should not i cannot stress this enough you should not end your retie with a top to bottom pull and then start your next retie on that same lock with a top to bottom pull because then that could cause holes in the lock uh, when it comes to retwisting just about anyone can retwist your hair but when it comes to retying your locks if you are going to be doing your own or someone's going to be doing yours make sure that they're doing it properly otherwise this will damage the lock this is how the first row is looking um if y'all are like ogs and you watched my you know stutter lock putting in my what's this my two strand twist in my hair you know that like my my what's this my parts aren't perfect i wasn't aiming for perfect parts the whole point of me having locks is to let go of you know thinking that i need to be so perfect and so blah, 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 blah. <laughs> here i'm taking a little dance break guys literally doing your hair as a black girl it's a workout i even had to take a, a snack break i was at it for some time I was watching youtube videos the entire time though so it was it was calm but yeah as i was saying my parts aren't perfect and that's just another thing I love about my locks, just how imperfect they are. They're imperfectly perfect. Is it perfectly imperfect? I think it's perfectly imperfect. But yeah, uh, this is me just showing y'all what I'm doing in the rest of my hair. Can you see I was feeling for where the last retie ended? And then I take it from there and do the other rotation. It's very important not to do the same rotation twice back to back okay so you pull from top to bottom then from side to side personally i don't i don't do the four point rotation just because i feel like it's a bit much i don't need to be doing that so i do the two point rotation which is just pull from top to bottom then from side to side i always uh pull from the back to the front and i always pull from the bottom to the top what? from the top to the bottom sorry so i never my lock i never pull my lock up as in um towards the sky and i never pull it forward as in towards my face 
it's always uh down towards my shoulders and back towards my my back yeah hopefully that makes sense but once again i'm just showing you guys what i'm doing here inserting the tool from the bottom to the top and then pulling the lock downwards like i said i never pull it up and then uh, inserting the tool from the back to the front and pulling the back i mean the lock backwards never pulling it to the front there isn't necessarily anything wrong with you pulling it to the front it's just when i think about how i want my locks to lay i will never want them to lay facing forward like towards my face um, if anything i'm always gonna want them laying um away from my face you know so yeah and then over at this part i will there is a more in-depth breakdown of what i'm doing here but i'm just wrapping any loose hairs i have around this section of my lock um it's just some puffy hair that isn't interlocked and isn't in a twist i'm just trying to maintain how poofy it is because if i leave it like that it will just end up being this huge bulge in my lock but yeah i just do that all the way down kind of like frizz maintenance as well um all the way down my lock wow i feel like I have, i've been talking the entire six minutes geez either i talk too much or there's a lot that needs to be said hopefully you, you guys don't mind i'm also recording on my laptop uh, so hopefully the audio is clear, but yeah, at this part, um, it, it's, it's an awkward spot on my head because I can't see it through the mirrors, um, and I have two mirrors set up here and I can't see it, so it was a matter of like having to feel my way <laughs> through this section. Okay, I want to show you guys like, <clears throat> once again, what I'm doing, I really can't see what's going on on the screen. <laughs> I've been at this for quite some time But honestly, it's not draining because I've been watching YouTube videos the entire time But anyways, that's not what I came on here to do um, Look at how my hair is looking I want to show you guys what I'm doing wrong So if I ask Clay, you wanna... Well, this is what I do Make sure my hair is like a little damp I've already done the interlocking thing like here yeah. But then for the maintenance of like the lock itself uh so i don't know if i voice over this but anyways i have like this okay so uncle isn't it i started off with my locks with uh two strand twists right and then i would then retwist my roots but then uh like at month six because the first time i interlocked was last month which was jan no the month before last month which was jan what am i even saying i feel like i'm just yapping now but anyways uh there's like there was like a bunch of i can't really see there's like a bunch of hair like from here to here that's usually just like poofy hair and like it gets poofy so to try and make it blend in with the rest of the lock with the interlocked part and the twisted double strand thingy lock part oh i've been doing this for so long okay so yeah i, I sprayed it i'm gonna spray it again just because it's dry now just a little bit and then i'm gonna check which direction my twist goes in goes in that way so I'm going to be twisting the hair that way. I just grab this hair over here and I wrap it around. Um, more specifically, around that poofy part. I don't know if that makes sense. Let's see right there. Pretty tightly. Not too tight, but like just pretty like toast, you know? Wrap, 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 and then I just continue going down. Uh, not the entire lock kind of helping tame the fizz yeah kind of all the way down not all the way but as far down as I can kind of sort of and I just yeah it's like that see yeah it's like this I don't know if that makes sense I'm sorry if it doesn't raw yeah I'm done interlocking my locks as you can see 
here. I am gonna be a hundred percent transparent and honest with you guys. I five hundred and thousand percent prefer interlocking than retwisting. I'm not gonna hold you. I one thousand percent prefer it. Just because one, it lasts longer. Okay. Two, it looks better to me. It looks better, at least like in terms of like longevity. So I guess that still goes the whole lasting longer thing. Um, I'm able to like style my hair in a bunch of styles without having to worry about my retwist, untwisting. I like the fact that it holds my hair down. Like. I'm able to retain more length, I guess, with the, with the interlocking. My parts stay crispier, longer. I just, overall, I just, I definitely prefer it more. But yeah, here's the side. I don't know what you guys are seeing. Let me just, here's how my ears are looking. Now, obviously my parts aren't perfect. I wasn't aiming for perfect parts. If I was, trust and believe, I could have I could have achieved it. You know what I'm saying? Sorry, I've been doing this for quite some time. I'm so over sitting here. I want to do something else. Like, can I get something else done? I don't know how many locks I have. I think I'm gonna do like a proper lock update video. And I think in that video, we'll count my locks together. And I'll give you guys like, any tips I've learned so far or my thoughts on like you know my lock journey and stuff but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video I didn't want to just show you guys what I've been doing with my locks because it's been like maybe two months or so two months or so since my previous I feel like I look rough since my previous lock video <clears throat> but yeah that's that's it that's it let me show you guys the back did I show you guys the back? Let me show you the back. Here's how the back is looking. See? Yeah. Yo, yo, yo. Hang time, hang time. I can't, like, I can wait, but I also can't wait till my locks, like, mature. So that when I tie them up, like, it sticks up. Like, it's still falling. Like, mature so you can stick up. But, I'm your basement journey and stuff. Okay, very long outro. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You don't have to comment, but if you do, I'll definitely appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.